Good morning, everyone. I'm Christy Villa. And I'm Beth Troutman. Thanks for watching The Balancing Act. This morning, we're talking about health from your pets to your loved ones and even yourself. Chef D joins us with a super healthy way to cook your favorite foods. And speaking of foods, if you eat the wrong foods, your cholesterol can go up, right? Yeah. Well, this morning, we're going to show you how to test yours at home. It's fast and it's easy. Plus, we know a great way to keep your furry friends healthy and satisfied. It's all this morning right here on The Balancing Act. few months, the Balancing Act has been traveling the globe, showcasing some unique and beneficial cooking oils that you may not be aware of. We discovered an innovative process down under in Australia that produces a very special olive nectar. We learned about the health benefits of green tea oil originating all the way back from ancient China. And this morning, as part of our My Cuisine series, we have another lesser known oil, but one equally beneficial soybean oil and this particular one hails from south of the border from Mexico in an oil called Nutrioli. As always Chef D is on hand prepping so that she can show us some great cooking tips that comes up a little bit later but first to educate us a little more on the benefits of soybean oil please welcome nutritionist Cecilia Garcia Schinkel. Welcome to our show. Thank you Beth. Thank you. Now I'm really excited about this because we we hear the beneficial properties of oils that fats in our diet but we get confused at the grocery store you hear the the monounsaturated polyunsaturated saturated What's good for us? What should we be looking for? First of all, it's important to eat some fats because fats have structural and metabolical functions in our body. Mm -hmm. But the thing is we need to eat more unsaturated fats, both monounsaturated and un un polyunsaturated and less saturated fats. And we can find the unsaturated fats in vegetable products basically and also in fish that comes from cold waters. You hear on the news about olive oil and canola oil as being healthy. What's the difference in those w in soybean oil? They're both very healthy. The thing is that olive oil is very sensitive to heat. It has free fatty acids that can very easily be damaged by heat. Oh. And canola oil is also very healthy, but it is it has uh, some levels of chlorophyll, and chlorophyll can oxidize very easily. So oh. it can oxidize us when we consume it. The thing with soybean oil is that it is, in the first place, very heart healthy. It has mm -hmm. the right amount of omega Three, which is a very important uh, fatty acid. It has high amounts of omega-6 and it also contains some omega-9s. Then it has a high amount of vitamin E. Vitamin E is yes. a potent antioxidant that protects both the oil and ourselves from oxidation and the damages of free radicals that are flowing in the air. And it, all, it is also free of trans fatty acids, which is very important. So it's a very healthy oil, oil from that point of view. Yeah, you hear about trans fats all of the time. Yeah. Now, with the, with the quality of Nutrioli. How does that affect taste and what's the process that this goes through? You know, it's very important to look at the quality of the vegetable oils that we consume because the quality is determined first by the food source, uh -huh. then in the second place by the quality of the seed, but also by the processing uh, in, in its whole. And Nutrioli has a very strict and state of the art process. It is bleached, it is refined, and it's deodorized. And that gives us an oil that is very, very stable to heat. It goes up to 400. 55 uh, grades Fahrenheit before it starts to smoke. Wow. And that is very good because you can cook everything in it. It is also odorless and tasteless, and it's very light. It doesn't adhere to food, and that makes it very light. You can also use less cooking oil when you cook with it. That's so great because you can really taste the food. You're not going to taste the oil. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you being here. On the contrary, thank you. You have really educated us this morning. Now, when we come back, Chef D will show us some great recipes using this wonderful oil. Don't go away because we will be right back with those quick and delicious recipes. Okay, welcome back everybody. We've been learning about the great health benefits of a new oil from south of the border, this Nutrioli soybean oil. We're here to share some great recipes that we can prepare for our family using this oil. Welcome back to the Balancing Act, our very own Chef D. Thank Hello. you, thanks, thanks, nice to be back. Now as a chef, tell me why why the soybean oil? I hear they were talking, Cecilia was talking about the smoke point. What does that mean? Yeah, but this particular smoke point, this particular oil has a 455 uh -huh. smoke point, which means that when you start to cook with it, it doesn't 
burn up on you, and it also lets the flavor of the food come through, the natural flavor of the food. Okay, the stove yeah. is beeping. That means it's ready to cook, right? Yes, that's so right. Okay. what are we doing here first? All right, so we're going to be, do... Be gentle on me. Okay, we're going to do two <laughs> recipes today. This is a Mexican filet dish. Okay. And a chicken medallion dish. Okay? Oh, great. So the first thing I started doing already to save us a little time uh -huh. is I started caramelizing our onions and our garlic. Okay. And if you want, you can go ahead and... Go ahead and put your fillet in there, your fish fillet. You know what? I can't We're using use a tongs. I'm just going to dump that. How's that's that? Fine. That's, that's good. That's good. Now you're quick, too. <laughs> okay, and this, so now while we let that caramelize a little bit, let's go ahead and start our chicken dish. Okay, this is the chicken. This is the chicken, and what we're going to do first is add all those ingredients. So okay. just go ahead and pour all of that in there. You really trust me to let me do all this. I love you for this. And then your tomatoes. Very nice. Yum. Now Olive. the recipe says you can use, um, you can grill these tomatoes, but you know what I did is to save a little time, I just bought them in the can. Nice. Yeah, save a little I love time. Saving Time. And these are totally like 20 minute recipes, yeah, some, right? Just some oh. of that. Oh, just not, some, yeah, oh, yeah, just not some. Only, just some. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you go. How's that's that? perfect. Now that's rosemary, and that's perfect. So once this cooks a little bit for a few minutes, uh -huh. and it gets nice, a little soft and translucent, then we'll take it out and add our chicken. You add the chicken. Okay. We'll get that cooked. But now let's suck on our fish. Why don't you turn the fish over and see what's oh, happening? Oh, turn it there. over. You yeah. really trust me for let's this? See. These are some big tongs. Good. Nice. What is this? I know. <laughs> Okay, now what about these ingredients here? Do they go into the fish? Do we go ahead and dump this? We will put that in after the fish cooks a little bit. See, okay. over here I have it cooking already. Now this is total 20 minutes for prep time. 20 minutes for prep time, That's yeah. That's great yeah. for working moms. Actually, for cook time. It takes a few minutes to prep it, but once you learn a couple of tricks, like I told you with the tomatoes, you're, you're well on your way. I should probably add the chicken over here, right? Uh, we... You know what, you can. Just go ahead and go ahead and add your chicken in. Okay. I can't get it out. Hold on. Here we go. I'm going to put this in there. And for those folks who are watching at home that you think this looks and smells fantastic, you can go to our website, thebalancingact.com, because we're going to put these recipes up there for you. So everybody at home can go home and make this. Nice. This is great. Now our fish is coming together nicely. Let's go ahead and add our other ingredients to that. I love that you have this stuff pre-measured because I just dump it in. It makes everything so easy for me. And what you threw in there were, Ooh, were jalapenos and olives and tomatoes. And then you're going to, let's see here. I think that's it. What we're going to do is let this cool down for a little bit. And so this and is what it's ultimately going to look like once it really starts going. And it smells so fantastic in here. I love that this has a Mexican flair. This has a just a, a rich, yummy smell yeah, that I yeah. can't get into. It's so good. And is the oil going to mask the flavor of this or it's, is it going to help enhance no, the flavor? No, it's not. It's what I like about this oil is it's so light. It's a flavorless oil. And it really, it really lets the flavor of the food shine through. It's really quite good. You are so fantastic like to trust me. And here's the final product. I love the magic of television. We've got the three steps ready to go. Everything looks great. Thank you so much for joining You're us. You're so welcome. So awesome to have you here. Thank Even you. someone like me can cook this at home. For more great recipes and cooking tips, you can check out the website, which is Nutrioli.com. And coming up next, we have a two-minute test that can yield information that could save your life. Don't go away. Okay, I'm getting the big tongs. We're going to go back in here for the fish.